Um, the Healy is not enough. We need more icebreakers. Because the Healy is only used for science. How do we need more icebreakers to break the ice? And even though they say that we need a long time to train the new workers, we need to still do it. We have the oh, we have workers now. We just perhaps need more. So they can start building first, and then when we train them, they'll be able to increase the um, production of icebreaker cap cap capacity. Okay. And um, well, even though they say that the counter plan solves Russia better, it does not. Okay. The counter plan actually causes a decrease in U.S. hegemony. Please extend that argument because it makes the U.S. look weak. The Russians are probably thinking when they see the Canada icebreaker coming, they're probably thinking like. Oh my god, the U.S. is reliant on Canada. The U.S. doesn't even have its own icebreakers to come. So it'll actually, in turn, respect Canada more, however, and um, decrease its respect for the United States. And it will likely, and it will also potentially um, attack the U.S. because it thinks the U.S. is weak in the in icebreaker capability. And furthermore, in um, the counter plan, again, um, extend the theory argument that international fiat is bad. Um, you can't fear any, every every um, actor of the counter plan in every country. And for the work, again, please also extend the argument that the Canada didn't say that they will let the U.S. use their icebreakers. And how can you guarantee cooperation between Canada and the United States when all and when both of them are also and also competing in the Arctic? And um, for the work, also extend the argument that federal government is the only one that can act. So, okay, they say that um, dropping permutation is a bad thing to conditionality. However, permutation is only a test to see if your negative, negative plan is competitive. And, well, like many arguments you make, you don't have to extend all of them, correct? So, um, choosing not to extend this doesn't hurt conditionality or whatever. Okay. So now on to bond market. You see that federal spending equals fiscal spending, and this is bad. However, we are using the federal spending to stimulate the economy because again extend um, the argument that that um, faster shipbuilding equals better economy and that and that we will need um, more uh, and that uh, it actually generates more profit and saves lots of money and and first of all like shipbuilding creates lots of jobs and jobs stimulate the economy so therefore this will actually get us out of the of the econ bad cycle then then cause the econ bad cycle to happen. Now onto Coast Guard's to say, they say that we didn't turn the link, however, I know we did, because they didn't answer anything at all to our link turn that the Coast Guard will only be effective with the icebreakers. So, well, the Coast Guard impacts are all ours, and, and, well, yeah. So, not only do we solve for econ in Russia, now we also solve for human extinction because of fishing, and also we solve for bioterrorism, and and also, um, and also a nuclear war. Yes. And now on to inter immigration reform. Does that, um, they say that we didn't answer that the plan um, was not popular. However, we did. Please extend the argument that says that the plan has support from both sides. It, is, it has bipartisan support. So, again, political capital, the D of political capital doesn't matter. I think the concept of the government, the structure of the government won't change in four years. And there has been no major change in the, in the structure of the government these past years. So we're basically saying that, well, the plan will pass as well as immigration reform. Because they already said that Republicans uh, agreed with, uh, like, McCain and whoever are already on the plan, so the, on, on immigration reform. So immigration reform will pass. And that doesn't stop our plan. Well, our plan doesn't stop immigration reform. So finally, I'd like to do some impact analysis. We win the Coast Guard did that along with all the impacts of nuclear war and bioterrorism. We also solve the Russia better because we don't make Russia think that we are uncompetitive. However, Canada does. The counter plan doesn't solve that portion because it's just making the Canada stronger. And why does the U.S. want Canada to look stronger than itself? So we solve the U.S. Um, we solve a potential Russia war better because the U.S. looks stronger in front of Russia. And and we also, okay, even if you win on, even if you win on immigration reform or, and we, we, we still, out, our impact still outweighed immigration reform because, well, the only impact you gave on immigration reform was a global war. However, we are preventing a nuclear war, bioterrorism, and also, um, 
time.